If you're looking for a soft, comfortable mattress, you've landed on the right video. My name is Joe, I'm from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm gonna to be going over six of my top soft mattress picks. I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about these mattresses, who they're a good fit for. Basically, by the end of the video, you're gonna have a pretty good idea which one you're gonna to wanna to get, so stay tuned. All right, if you want to learn more about these mattresses, read more of our mattress reviews, mattress comparisons, see more of our top picks, or get exclusive coupons as well, save some money, you can get all that information by heading on over to mattressclarity.com. All right, what qualifies as a soft mattress? Well, we rate on a one to 10 scale, with 10 being firmness. Most mattresses, kind of the average is about a six and a half, seven out of 10 kind of firmness range. So soft is probably like a five to six and a half range. Um, so all these mattresses are kind of in that range as well. Um, softness is also subjective. People have different opinions. They feel firmness a little bit differently. So that's just kind of something to note. Um, and also who's good fit for a soft mattress? I would say just really side sleepers. I think if you're a back or stomach sleeper, you probably want something a little bit firmer to get a little bit more Support. Having said that, you don't want a mattress to be too soft because you do want support. So if you sleep on your back and stomach, support is a little bit more important. Sleep on your side, you do want to be soft and get good pressure relief, but you also want to get that good support. So just make sure that it's not too soft overall. Having said that, let's jump into some topics. First up on our list is the Layla mattress. Layla is one of the most comfortable mattresses that I've ever reviewed. It is a flippable mattress, so it does have a firm side. So we're obviously talking about the soft side here. Put the soft side at about a five and a half out of 10, so definitely softer than average. It has copper infused memory foam, plus a transition layer. It kind of just melts the pressure away, so it did very well on our pressure map testing, for example. It's a very, very comfortable mattress overall and very innovative as well. It has copper infused memory foam, which can potentially bring you certain health benefits. So there's really a lot to like about the Layla mattress. Next up on our list is the original Casper mattress. So Casper has something unique called zone construction. So I put the mattress about a six out of 10 on the firmness scale, but it depends on your sleeping position because of the zone construction. It's gonna be a little bit firmer in the middle of the mattress and a little bit softer up by the shoulders. So if you sleep on your side, it's gonna feel a little bit softer, but it's gonna be more supportive when you're on your back or stomach. So for that reason, it's very, very good for people who sleep in multiple positions or switch positions throughout the night. Just a very comfortable feel overall. It's kind of got a balanced foam feel, kind of combines latex and memory foam like qualities. So there really is a lot to like about the Casper and it's going to be a good fit for a lot of sleepers. Next up on our list is the Amerisleep AS4 mattress. Amerisleep doesn't believe that there's one best mattress for everyone. So they have a line of five different models with different firmnesses in mind and different sleepers in mind. So the AS4 is the second softest, uh, it's definitely softer than average and it's built specifically for side sleepers. It's got about four inches of memory foam. So it just kind of melts that pressure away. It did very well on our pressure map testing. It's also good for couples in that it isolates motion quite well. So it's a very, very comfortable mattress overall. And if you're worried about kind of getting stuck, that's kind of a common complaint about memory foam mattresses. That's not the case here. So it has all the benefits of memory foam, very comfortable, softer than average, without really any of the drawbacks whatsoever. It also sleeps very cool. So that's just something that's really great to note about the Amerisleep AS4 mattress. Next up on our list is Helix. Helix is all about options and customization. So with Helix, you really have two options. You can take a quiz, fill out that information, and they'll give a customized mattress to you based on your answers to your quiz. You can also select from their models, which they have pre-selected. So with the soft mattresses, there are the Helix Sunset and Helix Moonlight, two very soft mattresses built for different types of sleepers. So you have that option as well. So there's a lot to like about Helix as well. Very high quality components. Great for couples. They also have Lux options. Uh, if you want some upgraded features, you can get the Lux option with each mattress as well. So there's a lot of options and there's a lot to like about Helix and definitely two very good soft mattresses as well. Next up on our list is the Nola mattress. Nola is about a five and a half out of 10. Um, it has a proprietary foam called Air Foam, which is supposed to relieve pressure better than memory foam. Uh, I think in my experience, it definitely relieved pressure very well. So it did very well on our pressure map testing. It was definitely one of the most comfortable mattresses that I've ever reviewed. Um, so it's a great mattress overall. It's also not built with kind of the, the heat trapping chemicals that memory foam is known for. So it's gonna sleep cool. It's also gonna be very durable as well. So there really is a ton to like about the Nola and just very comfortable overall. Last on our list is the Purple Hybrid Premier Mattress. I'm talking specifically about the four inch version. I wanted to include a mattress that's soft and also good for heavier sleepers. I'm obviously not a heavier sleeper myself, so I'm gonna have Martin on my team kind of jump in, talk about this mattress and other soft mattresses that he really likes. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 250. I'm a larger person than Joe. You definitely wanna think about your size and your weight when you're looking for a mattress. Now, he made this list of the best soft mattresses. And the thing is, being a larger person, I often feel mattresses are firmer than Joe does because my weight drags me further into the mattress. I feel some more firmness than he does. But 
out of these mattresses, I think four really stand out for larger people like myself. And as Joe mentioned, he wanted me to start off by talking about the Purple Hyper Premier four inch version. Now, this version of the Purple is great because it's a very, very thick layer of this hyper elastic gel polymer. And while for Joe, it felt maybe a little bit firmer, it felt really, really soft for me because my weight is collapsing that gel layer more than Joe's weight does. So feeling even better pressure, it feels like a nice soft mattress for me. Then we have the Layla mattress. Now, as Joe mentioned, this is a flippable mattress and the soft side is very soft, even soft for a larger person like myself. So I sink in, especially on my side, feel some great pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. Very good match for side sleeping and also for back sleeping. Then we have the Amerisleep AS4, a very soft option. It has a really extremely thick comfort layer on top. So again, I'm not bottoming out. I'm sticking into the mattress, not hitting the support layers below, feeling great pressure relief. Again, a very nice soft mattress. And last but not least, we have the Helix mattresses. Now, as Joe mentioned, the great thing about Helix is they'll customize a mattress to meet your needs. You take a sleep quiz on their website, they'll customize a mattress to meet exactly what you're looking for. You like soft, they can definitely do that for you. And if you're a larger person like myself, they even make the Helix Plus made just for people like you. Before we close out this video, I want to go over some frequently asked questions that people may ask about soft mattresses. What are soft mattresses good for? Well, I would generally say just side sleepers. You want to get that pressure relief on your shoulders and hips. I think if you sleep on your stomach or back, it's not going to be as appropriate to get a soft mattress. So definitely side sleepers. Are soft mattresses good for your back? Well, that really just depends. If you sleep on your side, it potentially can be good for your back because you want to get good spinal alignment, get good pressure relief, and be able to kind of dig into the mattress with your shoulders and hips. So that could be good. But if your mattress is too soft and you sleep on your back and stomach, you may not get enough support. So potentially you may get some back pain issues if it's too soft and you sleep on your back and stomach. So how do you know if your mattress is too soft? Well, I think if you wake up with little aches and pains, especially in your lower back area, if you sleep on your back and stomach and that's the case, that could be definitely a sign that your mattress is a little bit too soft. All right, that's basically it. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of these six mattresses and you have a pretty good idea of which one you may want to get. If you are interested in any of these mattresses, definitely check out the individual reviews we've done about our website and YouTube channel. And we come out with great new content every single week, so consider subscribing to our channel as well. Definitely don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions whatsoever.